In Hosea chapter 13, we are presented with a chapter that is both sobering and encouraging. It's sobering due to the consequences of sin and encouraging because of how good a God is. Let me read to you verse four out of the New Living Translation to highlight my point. God says, I have been the Lord your God ever since I brought you out of Egypt. You must acknowledge no God but me, for there is no other Savior. You see, I love this because God shows and shares with his people his heart for them, that he loves them, that he's been with them, but also this reality there is no other God other than Yahweh. He's it. He's the one. So he goes on to say in verse 5, I took care of you in the wilderness, in that dry and thirsty land. But when you had eaten, when you were satisfied, you became proud and forgot me, he says in verse 6. This is a common, common pattern. The people are God of blessed and then they wander. And so he says in verse seven, so now I will attack you like a lion, like a leopard that lurks along the road, like a bear whose cubs have been taken away. I will tear out your heart. I will devour you like a hungry lioness and mangle you like a wild animal. I cannot think of a more vivid description of God's heart as a parent, so to speak, who's going after his children to protect them, to draw them back from their wayward ways. See, when you read this chapter, you should see this sobering reality of the consequence of sin, but also the resolve of God to go after his people, not, not to destroy them, but to keep them from being destroyed. There is such vigor here in the words that God shares with his people that he is a God that is willing to go after them and do whatever he needs to do to bring them back to him. Why? Well, because like it says in verse four, there is no other savior. You see, it's not that God is a glory hog. It's that God sees things as they actually exist. He is the source of life. And if you're looking to someone or some other thing for life, God says, I'm coming for you to bring you back to the source, to bring you to me. So today, this chapter, it's sobering, but it's also encouraging. God loves you. He desires that you would come to him. And I think he's gonna do whatever he can do to bring you to a place where your heart, your hope, your life is found in him. So today, Come to God, stay away from sin, and see how good and how faithful God is to you and to me.